Jackie has been evicted. But one more celebrity must go. It's the day they fear. Nominations, dear. It's day 10 in the Big Brother house. I had a dream that we were all on a plane in Mexico. The housemates have been asked to gather on the sofas for the nominations. This is Big Brother. Big time. You are reminded that your nominations must be your own choice and must not be influenced by any of the other housemates. <laughs> Under Big Brother rules, you must give full, frank and valid reasons for each of your nominations. It's 12.34 p.m. Bez is the first to be called into the diary room. Interesting that they say your nominations cannot be influenced by any other housemates. Well, of course your nominations are influenced by the other housemates because that's how you arrive at decisions. <laughs> that's how you're, you're arriving yeah. to your decision, yeah. <laughs> but they mean by telling, but I mean, of course they're <laughs> going to be influenced. True. It's true. <laughs> because... Bez, please could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Yeah, my first nomination is going to be Bridget. And the reason why I'm going to nominate her because she's only got ten cigs left and I can't stand grumpy cig smokers when they've run out of cigs and getting all moody. Because I'm a born-again non-smoker, of course, and uh, you know what I mean, I ain't got time for all that nonsense. Once they've run out of cigarettes, they've just become a nightmare. What has led you to believe that without cigarettes this housemate may become a nightmare? All cigarette smokers become nightmares once the ciggies run out. It's like inevitable that they've got an addiction. And then when you've got an addiction and you, you, you run out of the stuff you're addicted to, then you become grumpy, moody, bad-tempered and all that, them sort of things. And uh, I just think it'd be good for the harmony of the house to, to uh, get rid of all the cig smokers, cos I don't really like it. I hate my clothes smelling of ciggies, I hate my pants smelling of ciggies, I hate my hair smelling of ciggies. And, of course, it's not good to be addicted to the things. And it's... And it's good for the kids to see people not smoking. And my second nomination is going to be Kenzie because I see him as the clear winner in the house. He's the youngest one, he's the cutest one. And he's got pure style and all that. And I see him as, like, a definite winner. So I want to try and eliminate the winner as early as possible if I see as a possible winner. And I definitely see him as being, a, like, a little favourite on the outside. So, er... Uh, that's why I put him up for a nomination. And he's really good at rhyming, slang and all that, you know what I mean? And, you know, the name of the game is to win it, so I'm trying to get rid of all the competition in the gaff. Finally, can you please confirm the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate? Yeah, man, Bridget and Kenzak. Hi, that's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's oh, so yeah, easy when fast. you fall in love. <laughs> I've never had it so easy in my life. Yeah. He's yeah, next, no, Bridge. Yeah, but I have to wait till she calls me. That was fast, though. Well yeah, done. because I've, I've got my little strategy going on. I can go in there really happy and come out with a big smile oh. on my face, man. Yay! Cool, baby. I don't think I'll ever work you out properly, Ben. I know. This is Big Brother. Would Brigitte come yes. to the diary room? I will. Hmm. I'm going to work out where I am. Yeah. Don't you know the alphabet? I thought you were public school, man. Well, come on, lad. Hello. <sighs> Brigitte. Please, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? My first nomination goes again to John, uh, basically for the same uh, reasons that I said the other day, by the fact that I'll never get over how he has been treating the, all the uh, housemates, uh, his reactions, that he took it out on us, even though he was angry with Big Brother, that he boycotted Big Brother and he was striking against us and never participated in any of the tasks that, that, had to, that had to be taken care of. And for the insults and his way of speaking mostly against women, even though I must admit when Jackie was here, he was brilliant. However, I have to, to stick with my word and I cannot forget, however, uh, the disasters we have had.
My second nomination goes to Bez. I just think Bez got to go. And also, he's the kind of person, I mean, he does, he does help out, but he doesn't do, compared to others, he does less. He's thinking a lot, like last night, he really wanted to jump over the wall and get out because he couldn't handle it. He's nervy, he's not at ease. And of course, we worry about that he would do a thing like that because it would get us all in trouble, and certainly him. So um, we were very much aware of the situation, but he settled down. But it's certainly a problem of, of his, you know, that he's got those moments where he's like he's about to freak out. And we understand that. And we are there for him, but the rules are I have to nominate someone, and the only thing I can think of is that. Finally, can you please confirm the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate? Certainly I can. First nomination goes to John. Second nomination goes to Bez. And then, and then found, oh, uh, good. We're Getting, we're going fast, sort of, no? Kind of going fast. It's 12.51 and the housemates have been nominating for 17 minutes. So far, Bez, Bridget, John and Kenzie have all received one vote. Caprice is next to be called into the diary room. Burlington's the girl and is absolutely fantastic. Whatever you want with a kitten, lie on her back, have her paws purring all the time, coming to you. She virtually absolutely, whatever you dream of, of a kitten to be, is Burlington. My first one is um, going to be Bez. And the reason Bez, I, I just think he, um, you know, last night he... <laughs> Last night, he was dying to get out of here. He was thinking about jumping the wall and going to a pub. I think, I think maybe he just, he's ready for it. He's ready to go out into the world again. You mentioned that last night this housemate wanted to jump the wall. Yes. Could you explain further? <laughs> he just, he, he had, it, it only, it, he gets like this when he drinks, right? But last night was pretty extreme. He can never sleep at night, right? And um, and last night, he just really fancied going to the pub. He just had enough. And so he wanted to jump the wall and to go down the road to the pub and then come back. So <laughs> How did this behaviour affect you? I thought it was hysterical. I thought it was really funny. It was quite entertaining. Now could you give the name of your second nomination and explain yes. your reasons for this nomination? Um, my second nomination is John, again. One, John is just desperate to get out of here. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen somebody want to leave someplace so badly. He really, really wants to leave. And two, um, one thing that really gets me going is if somebody feels a certain way about me, then come to me and tell me and let's talk about it. But to say something behind my back, that really, that, that upsets me. When I saw that tape, that is, that is something that has not been addressed, and I had to hear it behind my back. And then I had to bring it up with him. I had addressed this problem with him. Can you explain how you found out that this housemate spoke about you behind your back? I went into a little compartment, and Big Brother had me sit down and gave me a tape, and, um, and what was on that tape was John speaking about me behind my back. He usually tells me to my face, and that's great. We could talk about it, we could address it, we could get it out in the open. Indirectly, it affects everyone in this household, and we have to work together as a team to survive this thing. This is not easy. I think whatever John says, it sort of goes in one ear and out the other, to be totally honest with you. But I think what really wound me up is that he had not addressed this to me personally, that he snuck like a little coward behind my back, and he told you. Finally, can you please confirm the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate? Yeah. Um, I chose Bez and John. Just because they're posh doesn't mean they're not no, tough. No, do you know what I mean? It's nothing to do with them. They're pure, Yeah, they're, they're told. Yeah. Get on, like... yeah, but they've got to grow up, like, shooting and yeah. that, hunting. That wasn't that long, was it? Ages. Longest so far out of anyone's day. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, what do you worry about the time for? I know because I just want to get on with the day. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Would Jeremy come to the diary room? Oh, no, I have an absolutely nothing thing to worry about. And nobody can you know, and in the ever kill the backs of her. No, no, that is, that is the number That's one. I'm so happy about doing it. Like absolutely. Whatever I say, I say to you know, everyone knows already. Uh, 
Yeah, my first nomination is... My first nomination is Bez. I feel really bad about this, because I really like Bez. Um, he's one of the boys, obviously. Um, but I think he was going a bit loopy last night. He was all talking about going over the wall, <laughs> going clubbing in Watford and uh, getting back in again, which I think is quite hilarious with no money and everything. He likes his booze, which is fair enough. Um, if this was yesterday in the day, I never would have nominated him, but there's been a change in the last 24 hours and he's getting very tetchy and he's moaning about the food and about this. And I can see that he's having problems with various people because of comments he's making to me and, well, in fact, in front of everyone. And... Like I said, the negativity, you know, when they didn't, they almost didn't see, when we went to the store to get our food today and he was, really wanted his honey, um, that, that, that's the pot of honey, not, 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 not a girl. Um, and, uh, you know, he was like, hey, better have me on they better have me on oh, where's me on like, Really, like, you know, it's like in fight mode, you know? And he's always coming in here, telling me he's coming in here and giving Big Brother a piece of his mind because he thinks this and thinks that and... Um, yeah, so it's. Yeah, I think it's very tense and a lot more negative now. And I, we're trying to, well, I'm trying to sort of keep, keep sane. My second nomination is Bridget. Now, I know I said I'd never nominate Bridget. I know I said that, and that makes me a liar, which I'm not normally. Um, but... <sighs> She's under a lot of. She's been under a lot of stress. Again, I can see her. She's coming down, um, and she's run out of cigarettes. Oh my lord! Hell hath no fury like a smoker with no fags. That is a fact, and we're all worried about that because, I mean, I bought in those extra packs initially to bribe. I'll admit that, not to be the nice guy. And I've ended up giving them to her, and she's gone through them all because of the stress. Now, she's just got ten today. They're going to be gone by today. Yeah? Finally, can you please confirm the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate? Yeah, Bez and Bridget. Four housemates have nominated. Three are left. So far, Kenzie has one nomination, Bridget and John have two nominations, and Bez has three. 1.15 p.m. Housemates have been nominating for the past 39 minutes. So far, Kenzie has received one nomination. Bridget and John have received two nominations, and Bez has three nominations. John is next to be called into the diary room. We're going to get a tough task now yeah, that what's your face is gone. Yeah, good point. Someone a bit challenging. Yeah, yeah we're something. Get a bit so I'm not not from the sticking around as a member. It's like something a bit. Yeah. yeah. I love it. George, George just steamed in. My first nomination will be Brigitte. Um, what I'm doing is, because this is my last time that I'll be nominating, so nobody can say I'm picking on them. So I did Bez and Caprice first time round, so I'm doing different ones this time for them for my last one. And um, Brigitte, um, she's the most interesting character out there. I think one word sums up Brigitte, and that's childlike. You know, the image you have of Brigitte, some men out there might sort of fantasise and think, you know, put a black mask on her, have um, a tiny leather miniskirt with a, uh, a braces down just covering her chest and black boots and a whip and all that sort of thing, the sort of um, S&M saga and all that sort of thing. That's not Brigitte. That's the image she gives, that's the work that she does. But underneath it is a very, very vulnerable person. The reason I'm nominating her is this ghastly business with the photographs and her lover and her new boyfriend, which is absolutely... If I see those photographs again, taken round the world in various embraces with him and the writing on the back and she reads it out and she talks about her wonderful nine-month love and how this 26-year-old is fantastic. I'm sure he is. I'm sure it'll be the greatest marriage the world has ever had. It'll be absolutely fantastic. I wish them all the very best of luck. But she's like a child, you see. And here's the new toy. It's like a child, 16, 17-year-old's got hold of a new toy. Uh, my second nomination is Jeremy. Um, I think Jeremy is the original pretty boy. And that's absolutely terrific. Nothing wrong with that. But he la I think he just lacks any depth at all. There's nothing about politics. There's nothing about sport except for playing it. So all he seems to do in life is do, do, do his filming, go to the club with his mates, and there seems to be nothing inside the man. He's plotting very hard to win. He's scheming to win. 
he 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 knows he's a banker for the last three, and every gesture, every, everything is done. He's calculating. He's as as ruthless a calculator out there as as anyone else. So he's he is he, he's mapped out his progress. He knows he mustn't upset people. He knows he's got to. Um, uh, do the the things that the um, that the viewing public want, and he's doing that. He's not upsetting anybody. Everybody likes him. He, he's cheerful and nice to people. Does his exercises, all that sort of thing. Um, but um, so he's calculating, and uh, there's no objection to that. He's ambitious. He's here to win, and I've no crit. I'm, I'm the only one here who's not here to win. He's here to win. So I've no criticism of that at all. But I just think that he's, he's very shallow, from what I've seen of him. Finally, can you please confirm the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate? Uh, my two nominations for eviction are Brigitte and Jeremy. And the spring's really good for snow, uh, boarding well, that, because you, you, uh, yeah. you get this April showers and that. You get the best snow dumps, don't you? I don't know, mate. Oh, man. And you get the sunshine as well. Are you a bit of a snowboarder yeah. then? Well, it's the only one I know how to do. Yeah, I can't, I've never skied. Yeah, I can't before. see you skiing, no chance, but snowboarding. Yeah, definitely, man, you're good at that, aren't you? Well, I'm not good at it, but I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a skier. This is Big Brother. Yeah, mate. Would Kenzie come to the diary room? You well, ski, right? Yeah. I've never snowboarded. I've never tried that. But it's I like very it. difficult to learn. Snowboard. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, it's difficult to learn, but once you've mastered it, it's, yeah. it's technically a lot easier. Skiing's all technical. What's going on, bruv? Kenzie. Yeah. Please, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Uh, yeah, my first nomination is John. Because he was so devastated that he didn't go. And he's really missing his job and all that. Even though we, have, we are getting on quite well, he, he really wants to go. So. You say this housemate wants to go, but do you want them to go? Put it this way, I wouldn't be that bothered if, if other people left. I'd be bothered. If he left, I wouldn't be as bothered. Why wouldn't you be as bothered if this housemate left? Because I've got a relationship with... I've got a better relationship with other housemates rather than him. Saying that you get on better with other housemates isn't a valid reason. Please, can you give Big Brother a valid reason for your choice? Um, I think John should go because he moans a lot. Could you give Big Brother some examples of this? Um, obviously, he had his three-day silent treatment, which he says is a protest, was, was for us against Big Brother. And it just didn't come across that way. And ever since that, it's kind of like, we get on well now, but ever since that, it's kind of like, First impressions, he didn't talk for three days. And I don't like making the effort with people who are just gonna just not ignore, man, and all that, so. He don't really pull his weight as much as he could. I don't do that much, but he does more, less than me. Yeah, he doesn't really, he's, he makes the tea and he does the batteries. And that's his peak. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Yeah, my second nomination's uh, Bez because there was a, a, quite an argument over dinner and he kind of defended Jackie and I didn't really agree with that. And he um, kind of had a go at everyone for not giving her the respect because she's older, but she was really disrespectful to everyone. And I don't can't really think why he offended her so much because she was really rude to everyone, so everyone kind of had a right to be. Uh, yeah, he gets a little bit agitated when there's not much alcohol about, or if he hasn't had enough alcohol, he tends to get a little bit agitated. Uh, last night, um, he wanted to jump over the fence. I don't know where, what, the, where, what that was, like, I don't know. It's, I know I know what it's like, I know what it's like, it's nothing personal to him, he just tends to get a bit stressed when, there's, when he hasn't had enough alcohol. That's it. Finally, can you please confirm the names of the two people you have chosen to nominate? Yeah, number one, John, number two, Bez. Honourable. Hooray. Just the process. Honourable. How was it, Kenzie, lad? Yeah, man, they just go on, didn't they? Bez now has four <laughs> nominations, John and Bridget have three, and Jeremy and Kenzie have one nomination each.
Lisa makes the final nomination. Well, when did they tell us? Was it that night? Yeah. Was it later? That, is it later today? Or I reckon it'll be later like today. Six or well, last time it was the like next that. day. We don't know. It might not be an eviction tomorrow night. Oh, last time it was the next night. day? Yeah, it might not be an eviction tomorrow night. No, well, I think it's heavy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It might be. It might not be. The first nomination is John. Reason. He's still finding it harder than most of us to uh, work as a team, I suppose. Excuse me. Uh, to work as a group. Uh, he's uh, finding it hardest to fit in most. We all kind of got our little thing going on and he's sort of still on the periphery. He really wants to go home. And I would like to help him. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Now it starts getting harder. Oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. I'm going to nominate Bez. And I don't have a reason. I mean, a reason that's going to satisfy you anyway. I would probably nominate him because... Despite the fact we've discovered we do have mutual acquaintances on the outside world, I have less in common with him, slightly less in common with him. It's just I, I hang out, I, I prefer spending my time more with, say, the girls or talking to Kenzie or Jeremy, actually, in terms of our conversation and our exchanges. I get more out of talking to those people slightly more than I do talking to him. More at the exchange. Plus, he's slightly messy. There you go. He doesn't pick up after himself. He'll leave a cup and leave it. And it will stay there <laughs> until someone else picks it up. And, you know, it's not a diss to him. It's just, it's not how I live. How does this messy behaviour have an impact on you? We're in a very confined space here and therefore we all have to, for me anyway, keep it tidy. Because otherwise you're going to go nuts. It's that real sort of cliche of tidy environment, tidy mind. And it's really appropriate here. It really is. So he's kind of, you know, he's just like a little Dennis the Menace character, isn't he, in a way? Which is very endearing, but, uh, you know, he's kind of a mucky pop. Even thought, God, I haven't had that in so long. We no. always have it at Limoncello. home. After dinner, we'll have a nice, fresh little... God, did I get wasted. Done. With all votes cast, Bez and John have received the most nominations and now face a public vote. Who steers, you decide. To save Bez, call 090-11-323-01 or text Bez to 84444. To save John, call 090 or text John to 84444.